Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got a very exciting tea for you today. This is one that I have been waiting forever to try because, uh, well not to try because I've already had some, but let me tell you, it's one of my all-time favorites. I'm continuing my uh, autumn, uh, my fall series <clears throat> with tonight's blend. Hey, whoever that was that just popped in, I saw your, your picture for just a second, uh, but I'm sure you'll, your name will pop up in just a moment. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and introduce today's tea because I have been dying to try this for, for quite some time. Jazzy, yay, you made it. Bonfire. Rick, I saw your picture. Now that one I recognize. Hey, Ma. Welcome, welcome. So I'm doing Bonfire tonight, and I love this tea. I have loved it since the first time I tried it, and I wait specifically for the fall to pick it up because this is an absolute dream tea. Like, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. I still have my uh, my cough going on, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this get the water started because I'm excited to, uh, to have this tea again. Um, I, I had a sample, but I gave all of it uh, away on purpose because I didn't want to, uh, to taint my palate uh, before, the, before the, the, the live tasting. So, here we are. My curi Well, not my curiosity. My patience is about to pay off. Um, so, I'm going to go over the ingredients because this is a very complex tea and it's got a lot of different stuff in it. I, I love it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you what's in it because it's going to blow you guys away. Uh, it starts off with honey bush. i uh, got apple pieces, aniseed, lapsang, sao chong, or as those of you who know it, the shoe store tea. Uh, cocoa nibs, <clears throat> rose hips, cinnamon bark. Uh, red peppercorn, orange peels, cloves, natural cinnamon flavor, natural orange flavor, safflower, uh, sa ah, safflower, and uh, natural hazelnut flavor. Now, this stuff, the best way for me to, to describe it is to say it's the penultimate autumn tea. Like, it tastes everything that autumn should be except for the pumpkin. I don't have anything against pumpkin, as you guys saw last week. I love the pumpkin chai spice. Uh, I mean, sorry, the, the honeybush pumpkin chai spice. But this one tastes like everything without the, um, without the pumpkin. So you guys who hated pumpkin last week, this is the tea for you. Because you are going to absolutely fall head over heels uh, uh, in love with it. Um, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. For uh, Annie especially, because she was extremely vocal about uh, hating pumpkin last week. So, I whoops, wrong way. I'm definitely recommending this for you. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this up and let you know what it smells like, because it smells like heaven. Put you down for just a second. There we go. Oh, the most exciting part. Oh, yes. This is what I've been waiting for. Now, I smelled the sample bag, but I never get enough. Now, this is a very, it's a very complex, uh, a very complex blend, because there's so much going on, and so many different flavors are essentially fighting for attention. Because you get the apple, you get the cinnamon, you get the orange. Like, it, it, it all comes up and it all blends really, really well into one, um, one sensation. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just one huge sensation. So let me let me see if I can. Uh, Anna, what's up? I'm glad you could make it. I'm doing bonfire. You're gonna like this one. So the first thing that pops up, it's a combination of the apple and the cinnamon. You get like the the little citrusy of it. Um, but that's probably coming from the orange. And it's a little bit slightly smoky. You're getting that from the, uh, from the Lapsang Sao Chong. Uh, that one, you, I guess that's, that's where the ember of the, uh, of the bonfire comes from, where it smells a little bit smoky, it smells... Hey, Mickey, welcome, welcome! 
you get a little bit of the uh, of the smokiness of it. Now this is this is part of what I love uh, about it because it's not just the um, it's not just the 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 citrus the fall the uh, the small the ah, the fall smells yeah I'm having problems here uh, the fall it's not just the fall smells but it's actually the smokiness of it that adds to it um, you also have uh, uh, the peppercorn that combines with the smoke in a very interesting way because you get kind of like a smoke and fire to it you get the spice of the red peppercorn um, along with the smoky and it, it compiles into the aroma uh, with the already existing citrus of the orange and the apple and the cinnamon. Uh, but you also get a hint of the rose hips that adds more of like a floral scent to it. Um, and that that kind of adds to the ambiance of, uh, of what fall should be, where you get a lot of plant life, a lot of um, mellowed out kind of uh kind of sent to it and it's, it's it's absolutely amazing like i love this stuff and there, there's even more to it let me see if i can pick some of it up now the annie seed is in there too it's strong ish i wouldn't say it's the most um it's the most prevalent scent but if you really concentrate you can you can find it in there it smells almost perfumey. Like I gave a sample of this to somebody last year, and they didn't even want to drink it. They wanted to take it home and like uh, use it as a um, as an air freshener or like a like a closet freshener. Which it would work if you put it into a, a bag and left it in your closet. Your closet will smell autumn fresh for a few for a few months, hands down. Hey, Kalen, welcome. Uh, this is like one of the most, one of my more fragrant teas. Uh, you know how you get a strong odor from a lot of teas. You get that strong green, the strong black, the strong uh, citrus. Whatever tea that I'm that I'm tasting, the there's one smell that's prevalent. This one doesn't have that. This one, everything mixes together, and it's it. it that's what makes it delicious but also really hard to describe um, so it's a good thing I have my my tea wheel because it's gonna come in handy I'm gonna probably need uh, a few sections of it let me see Oh, my water's done and I forgot to uh, I got so interested in the, uh, in the description that I forgot to uh, fill up my infuser so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and I'll have to ignore the hot water for right now. There we go. I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment, because it is actually also a very beautiful tea. Very colorful. Okay, here we go. It's okay. You you do what you gotta do. I I don't I don't mind it. You could you could catch it on uh, YouTube later. Hey, Florangel, how how's it going? Welcome. All right. So here is. It even looks like autumn. Look at that. You have all that orange, brown, and red. It looks like, like an autumn garden. Like, the leaves have fallen. You have the trees. Uh, have had the leaves have turn red, orange, brown, yellow, all of that comes into the tea. So it's the very embodiment of autumn, in my opinion. And as it's a very chunky tea as well. Uh, as you can see, it's, there's a lot of the apple pieces are huge. The, uh, you, the, the, the red peppercorn just pops from here to there. The safflower, it, it really shows uh, in the tea. <coughs> over the uh, over the brown of the honey bush. So right here you have not only a tea that smells like autumn, but it tastes like autumn, looks like autumn. I mean, it is the definition of autumn. I'm going to go ahead and oh, I'm going to pour out the water. I have it at a bad angle. When I put it back down, it's all right. Just got to be whoops, a little bit careful. 
All right. So I have it. Um, I have the water heated to 212 degrees as usual. Um, and this is one of those teas that can stay in there forever because it's got like a lot of uh, the honey bush. Uh, the Lapsang Sao Chan, however, could be affected by it, so I, I'm just going to leave it in for the for the uh, original 10 minutes, uh, sorry, 5 minutes, but it could stay there, I think it could stay there for, for longer. Um, I don't know, I've never tried it before, but usually when I steep it as an iced tea, I leave it for about an hour, I don't know if I could do it with this one, I'd be willing to try. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, go back to my my tea wheel to see if I can find some good definitions of it. Well, not definitions, but adjectives. I want to pull out some of the some of the correct vocabulary. Oh, and I've uh, all right. I don't know where the tea wheel is. I should have marked the page, but of course it would. this would not be one of my streams if I wasn't slightly unprepared. One of these days I'm just going to know what the, uh, what the page number is. It's like 190 something I want to say, but I don't know. Okay, here, no, no, that's not it. Other way, you know what? <laughs> I'm just hey, Amanda, welcome. <coughs> of course, you pop in when I'm not looking. I'm looking for the T wheel, and that's why you caught me off guard a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm you know what? I'm just gonna have to wing it as I usually do because. I cannot do two things at once. Yeah, I'm gonna put that down and check it out later. Anyway, okay, so the best way that I want to describe it is a very soft uh, and sweet flavor. The honey bush has a natural sweetness to it. Uh, it's a little bit grounded, uh, but a little bit, uh, it's a little bit grounded but naturally sweet. So you get kind. It mixes well with cinnamon because they have very similar flavors, uh, except the cinnamon has more of a of a bite to it. But if you take out that bite, you would have uh, essentially what the what the taste of Honeybush is. Now that leaves a really good base for other for other flavors to shine, like the orange, the um, the apple, the the rose hips. Uh, everything. Everything that tastes uh, tangy or sweet, uh, even even the peppercorn, it pops. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know. Every week I, I, I always uh, hiccup. Anyway, so uh, I, I, I lost track <laughs> of the time. <coughs> anyway, okay. Uh, so it's 8.14 now. Uh, I'll assume two minutes have passed. So we'll do, what, eight? 17, I'll take it out. That works. Cesar, what's up? Uh, anyway, so right off the bat, this is a very fragrant tea. Uh, while it steeps, the, the, the scent just starts to permeate in the room. It's a, very, it's a very strong scent. That's why you can use it even as it's dry. You can use it as, a, uh, as an air freshener because it really, it, it, it really works. Um, I recommend drinking it, but that's just me. I'm addicted to the stuff, so I'm a little bit biased. Um, anyway, this this it's it's a very strong uh, a very strong scent that permeates the room and and basically like you can smell it down the hall. Um, if I were to open up this room this door and, and walk to the end uh, to the other end of the apartment, I'd have no problem. Hey, hi, mom. It's been a long time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, my cough still hasn't gone away, but it's 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 on its way out. I promise. Hopefully next week, I'll be cough free and we'll be able to do this semi normally. Cause you know, my my uh, streams are never that normal. 
Uh, okay, so we have one more minute before before I get to uh, pour this out. Uh, once again, I pre-sweeten my pot with uh, some stevia, and uh, I just realized I forgot to take my little cup out to put my my uh, infuser in. So I'll just take it out now. <laughs> Shanna, welcome. I'm glad you could make it because this is this. I'm doing the bonfire. I don't remember if you tasted the bonfire. I think you did, uh, but this is like one of my favorites, and you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say how good this tea is. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one that you said tastes like barbecue. Uh, I don't get barbecue from it, um, but you probably uh, get the smokiness from the lapsang better than I do. Um, everybody's taste buds are different, so. Yeah, that's uh, that's what you that's what you'd get. I'm really watching that clock because I'm really I'm excited to start this one. Up oh, eight seventeen, right on the dot. I'm not waiting for the seconds. I'm pulling this out, and there we go. Just gotta stir the sugar. Yeah, Rick, hopefully I'll be uh, caught free next week, because that's, ah, uh, it's so annoying. Everybody that, uh, that I work with, they want to know if I'm still alive, because it's, it gets bad sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now that it's out, and basically, whoops, go on, there we go. You can see the, the the yellows have popped up even more now that everything has expanded a little bit. Well, let me go into the light a little bit better. You can see right there it looks more orange. All the uh, all the numbers are uh, all the numbers, all the colors are are really popping more than usual, uh, more than before. The reds are more red, the oranges are more orange, and everything is more prevalent. It looks like a fall, uh, a fall day after a rainstorm. Let me just move some of that over. Yeah, so you can see, like, there's a real good concentration of color in there. And just as that concentration of color, it's a good sense of what it smells like. You have a huge concentration of the of the fruits. <coughs> of the leaves, <coughs> excuse me, of the peppercorn, and everything is compiling up into into this wonderful blend. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some out. You see, I'm happy about this. Ooh, I should. I always go in hands first, but I forget. This tea is hot. The teapot is hot. All right, there we go. And I drop the spoon. So you see it's got a nice golden brown color to it. It's even more vibrant in person. The camera from, for some reason isn't picking up the color. But I assure you it's there. Oh, it'll be all over. So I'm going to go left-handed with this. You can see it's got a really nice... <laughs> Thanks, Rick. I, I aim to please. There we go. So you can see it's got a nice brown, almost red flavor uh, color to it. Now, the red color comes from the honey bush uh, because that's technically a, uh, a red tea. So you're able to, to see the difference. Uh, if you look at the side... Let me move that over a bit because uh, the light is better here. Yeah, it's very dark in the um, in the center, but it's a very dark red. Um, you don't get a whole lot of brown to it, which is it's it's prevalent in a uh, in a black tea. You get that black brown uh, color. This one is is a red tea, so you get more of a reddish tannish brownish kind of uh, kind of blend to it. And once again, the, the color is more prevalent in person, um, but it, it's it's got a, like a nice, uh, let's say a dirty copper kind of smell to, uh, kind of color to it. Oh, I love that smell! Oh my God, this is it drives me crazy every every time. But 
the moment I've been waiting for. I'm sure you guys have too. I'm going to go ahead and take my first sip. And I'm going to slurp, as usual. Oh, yes. Yes, Ma, you would love this one. I'm going to send you some. When I, I know that at the last time I was at home, I buried you in tea. But this is one that you have to drink hot. It's not going to taste the same cold. Um, I would definitely recommend this. It's not a traditional tea. So I know that you, I, I know that you don't like black tea, like the, the Lipton, all that much when it's hot. This one, it's best when it's hot because it's closer to like a hot chocolate. It's got that kind of a... Um, depth of flavor especially when it's sweetened just right okay now I'm going to try to describe this accurately um, because this is such a complex tea I want to I want to do it justice so the first thing I taste is the apple cinnamon the apple cinnamon has a nice uh, kind of robust flavor to it and it, and it comes comes off right away uh, just behind it is the orange you get that um, that little taste of uh, <coughs> you get that little taste of citrus oh I think I need another sip you get that little taste of, of citrus behind it um, <coughs> with the kick of the red pe uh, of the red peppercorn, and that I think is a really interesting combination. You get the the, the red peppercorn with the orange, so you get the sweet uh, the, the the sweet, the uh, spice, and the tangy. So kind of like an orange, a, a slight orange chai taste to it, and oh wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Enjoy it, Micker Doodles. Enjoy your night. I'm, uh, you can watch this later. I'm gonna send you the uh, the YouTube link if you want. You already know my uh, you already know my address. So go ahead, have a good night, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Um, anyway, so you have this this nice almost um, it's like a, the the orange chai, which sounds like an amazing combination, like the orange and the chai uh, the spice of a chai. I think that that's something that I'd like to explore later. Uh, but for now, I'm going to stick with, with, what I, with, with what's on my plate. Uh, but the gears are rolling. Anyway, I'm going to take another sip. So, you get this kind of... A syrupy... Almost... I, I, can, I can see... Where, uh, where Shanna, you, you said that there's, uh, it tastes like barbecue. Um, I can see where that's coming from. Because when you really concentrate, you can taste the lapsang with the orange and the cinnamon. And that is what pulls up the, the barbecue taste. You get the smokiness behind it all. And it's, it's, it's gorgeous. I love this stuff. Like, wow. Oh, this is, I think that this flavor is like perfect for right now, because it's like a nice autumn night. Hey, Maria, welcome, welcome. It's okay, better late than never, you know? Uh, this is, it's perfect for tonight. Uh, it's about slow, what was it, low 70s, high 60s outside. Michelle, welcome, welcome. Uh, it's, it's. Like low 60s, high, uh, uh, sorry, low 70s, high, uh, high 60s outside, so it's got a little bit of a breeze. This is perfect for it, because you get that little bit of uh, the hint of chai and the, um, and the wholesomeness of the flavor. It's, it's, it's perfect for the weather. He uh, said, there's barbecue from the Pepper Palace uh, that it reminded me of, it reminded you of. Oh yeah, absolutely. You get you. That's what I'm saying. Like like you get like a barbecue sauce, kind of uh, flavor to it. 
it's a really nice uh, it's a really nice touch to it. And it's okay, uh, Michelle. No worries if you. Uh, it's it's better you came now rather than uh, at the tail end of the uh, uh, of of the stream because you know I mean you miss out on everything if you don't participate and you know it's it's your guys' interaction that keeps me going. So better late than never. I'm glad you could make it. Oh. That is, that's a really nice flavor. All right, guys, I'm going to open up the floor. Do you guys have any questions about this tea? Any, um, anything you want to ask me about or you want to talk about? Bring it on. <clears throat> I'm going to take a look at something real quick because this is actually technically a, a, a seasonal tea, um, but they sell it year-round on the website. I just choose to wait because... Uh, it, it tastes best on a um, <coughs> oh, excuse me it tastes best when the uh, when the temperature is just right yes go for it go for the pepper place you it, it's it's a great time uh, it's a great night for it I, oh pepper palace sorry I kept reading, reading that as uh, pepper place yeah you, you know me I can't read I, that's my secret, I'm actually illiterate, sorry. I can't read in, um, in, uh, high pressure situations while I'm trying to, well not high pressure, but you know, while I'm trying to talk at the same time. Situational illiteracy. Anyway. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm getting mad now. I need another another sip. I'm using this cough as an excuse, by the way. Just to take another sip of it. Oh, that's really nice. Now the the, the cinnamon is actually coming out uh, a little bit better. All the yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, Ma. All that co college tuition out the door is completely wasted. Sorry. I should have spent more time in kindergarten learning my ABCs. I missed out. Whew. So I, I don't. I think I might have mentioned it, but uh, just in case, I'll mention it again. I pre-sweeten my pot with the stevia as usual, and I think that that pulls out the uh, the taste a little bit better. Um, well, the, it, it it enhances the orange, the apple, and the cinnamon flavors to it. Um, and it, 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 I think it works well with, uh, with this tea. Not like last week's, the, the, the Gizu twist, um, it kind of messed the, uh, the, the, the experience up for me, which I've never experienced before. Because, you know, I usually sweeten my tea every week, but in a situation where the, 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 the sugar and the stevia actually takes away from the flavor, that's a rare thing. Uh, that's the first time it's ever happened to me, and I've been drinking tea for about almost, well, yeah, two years now. And, yeah, that's never happened before, but, you know, live and learn. Who would have thought that tea, that uh, stevia would actually take away from the flavor, you know what I'm saying? Oh, another drink. Okay, so you guys have any questions, anything you want to throw at me, feel free. I'm opening up the floor once again, because you guys... You guys keep me on my toes, that's for sure. And while you do that, I'm going to look into some of the uh, the descriptive words. Because <coughs> I can't really describe it very well. Um, not, to, not to the satisfaction that I want to give it. Because I, I want to give this the, uh, the description that it, that it, that it deserves. Um, let's see, they call it, they, they, they offer, uh, adjectives like cozy and zesty, uh, soft sweetness, uh, a little kick with the peppercorn. Uh, yeah, they, they say that's the split, the, the flickering spark of heat. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty accurate. I, 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 I couldn't say it better, better myself. I tried.
Oh uh, yeah, kind of kind of like a fruit salsa, but not too sweet. Uh, if you put cinnamon in the fruit salsa, then that would that would enhance it a little bit better. <coughs> that would be more because it would have to be a little bit grounded for it. Oh, I'm slipping down. There we go. Anyway, so like I'm saying, um, the this tea is just oof. Uh, how was the stevia in the bug poop? Um, it was actually, um, uh, I didn't put stevia in the bug of poop. I tried it natural, and it was really, really good, uh, and then I put honey in it. Uh, I sweetened the, the, uh, the, the, the bug poop with bee puke, and that really actually, uh, made it into a pretty good, uh, a pretty good flavor, because you had the, the groundness of the, uh, of the regular black tea with the earthy kind of sweetness from the from the the bug puke uh bug puke the bee puke and it really it really blended well so i i recommend it sweetened and unsweetened you get a really good flavor either way and i know you love that bug poop i'm still going to send you some one of these days And I'll make sure you drink it. Like, Skype me, I want to see. <laughs> <coughs> Oof. Anyway, back to you guys. Throw something at me. I know if Teresa was here, she would ask what kind of dessert this would go with. Uh, or what kind of cookie. Um, gingerbread comes to mind. The, uh, the grounded cinnamon taste of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good, I promise. I, I I I will I will fly over there and make it for yourself uh make it you bah, make it for you myself. <laughs> Just to prove my point. This thing is it's the bugger poop is really, really good. Um gingerbread comes to mind for this uh for the for the cookie of this tea. Um Anything that you would have like in the autumn on an autumn afternoon, uh, gingerbread is nice. Uh, a sugar cookie, something. Hmm. Cinnamon cookies, like the like the, the like the, the the sugar cookies with the top with cinnamon and ginger nutmeg. Something like that. That would taste great. Even even pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie would probably go really well with this, uh, because you have the sweetness and the and the kick. Of the of the tea to complement the nutmeg and the cinnamon in the pie, and you know you get that extra that extra kind of sweetness from the pumpkin goop. I, I don't know what to call it, but yeah, that's it, it's. I think that they would go really really well together. Yes, we shall. We shall see. Mm. I have a lot riding on that bet. Okay, so now that it's cooling down a little bit, you get more like this cinnamon gum flavor, but not as strong as cinnamon gum itself. Like... If you're eating this, uh, if you're chewing on the cinnamon gum, and you know you've had it in your mouth for a while, before it turns into complete disaster, you get that low-key uh, sweet cinnamon flavor. And it's at that point that I would usually throw it away because I I hate when the gum just goes completely tasted tasteless, and you're just sitting there going, nom, 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 this is awful. Nom, I don't know why I'm still chewing, nom, nom, but it's a habit. Nom, nom. Yeah, you start to hate yourself for it after a while, and then you're forced to throw it away. But it's that taste. It, it's that taste before it gets to the uh, to the point of no return with the gum. I think when it cools off, it tastes a little bit like cereal. Kind of like a cinnamon Fruit Loops, if that makes sense. 
I think that that would be an amazing cereal. I would totally eat it. So you you hear that, uh, Kellogg? <laughs> that's my that's my idea. I want royalties. <coughs> <coughs> Don't worry, still alive. Oh, and I'm more than halfway through, so I'm gonna go ahead and refill. Still making good time. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Oh, I'm out. I, ooh, miraculously, I didn't get any on my, uh, on my dresser. Uh, not my dresser. My uh, TV stand. Yeah, I'm having problems with words today. Usually I have the best words, because words are my specialty. That was bad. <laughs> oh, it's even better now. Whew, that's pretty good. The concentration, I guess I didn't stir it up as much, but the concentration of the stevia is on that last little bit. And you get a nice, fuller, uh, fuller sweetness to it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm down for it. We'll, we'll do the Pepper Palace. I don't know where it is, but I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And yes, Rick, bird is certainly the word that I've heard. And I don't remember the rest of the song offhand. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> So you guys have any other questions? Oh, it's by Water Tower. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've never seen it in there. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see for myself tomorrow. But just so you know, the music box is not uh, by there, so we'll have to. Uh, we'll talk after uh, after the stream um, about the the about the movie tomorrow. Anyway, getting off uh, getting off topic. Oh, and oh, okay. So yeah, if we don't uh, if, if we don't see it tomorrow, we'll we'll. Oh, I don't remember if Schomburg's close. I forget. I'm not good with uh, with names of places and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, back to the tea. I'm getting uh, I'm getting sidetracked as usual, but it's not as bad as as my other uh, as my other streams. So anyway, the concentration of the sweetness has gotten to that last little bit. Uh, so it tastes even more like cereal, because that's just pumped up sugar. But it's good. I like it. I always had a bit of a sweet tooth. Uh, and you're getting more of the orange now, too. You get, like, the orange and apple uh, and cinnamon is really coming up strong. Um, I think that the stevia might be dying down the, uh, the lapsang a little bit. Cause it's like it's it's there, but it's 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 extremely faded. And as as uh, tea cools, you get to taste more of uh, of what's present. But since there's already so many sweet uh, ingredients in there, with the apple, the orange, uh, the cinnamon, the anise seed, and uh, the honey bush, the sugar is pushing those flavors uh, to the top while it's diminishing the uh, the smokiness of the uh, of the lapsang which could be good depending on uh, on your tastes I like I like my stuff sweet so by all means I say pour it on bring it on and yeah uh, knock it all out that's what I'm all there that's what I'm all about you know oh so you guys have any other Questions while I take another sip of this. Oof. They should have, but they'd probably get sued for it because Fruit Loops is not their. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's already trademarked. I could probably get sued for mentioning uh, Fruit Loops on here, but I'm gonna leave it at that because hopefully the Kellogg Company is not watching. Unless they plan to uh, to use my idea then for the uh, for the cinnamon and uh, the cinnamon fruit loops, so if they do, we'll, we'll call it even. Just don't sue me. You can have the idea, Kellogg. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm getting stuffed already. I like I'm drinking I'm drinking this tea slowly and it's really filling me up. Like there's so much in it that normally I don't get stuffed like this for teas uh during the stream, but this is really this is really good. <laughs> mm, excuse me. Oh, we got the hiccups. It's driving me nuts. Now it's getting more... It's still warm. Um, but it's closer to, to room temperature. And it's, it's changing the dynamic drastically. Like... You don't have the uh, the intensity of the chai anymore. Um, it's it tastes like the like the base of it without the kick. If that makes any sense, um, I really I really enjoy this one though. I'm really liking it uh, as it mellows out. It's it's putting me in a more relaxed mood. Like I get the feeling as soon as the stream is over, I am going to sleep like a baby. Because this, this is like really, really nice. And it's soothing, relaxing. Um, it's supposed to be caffeinated because of, La uh, because of the Lapsang Sao Chong, but I don't think there's a whole lot. Um, yeah, it's got trace amounts of caffeine. Because all, uh, all of the other ingredients are... Um, they're caffeine-free and they're, they're, there's a stronger amount of it. The only caffeine, the, the only caffeinated ingredient is the lapsang in this, so yeah, it's, it's very slight. Uh, I don't think it'll it'll be enough to interrupt my sleep pattern, which I'm okay with. Like I'm waiting for a night where I can just drink this and go right to bed, and you will see this smile on my face. Is <sighs> okay. You guys have any other questions or any other comments you want to make? I'm free. I'm opening the discussion uh, the the discussion floor. Mm. Yeah, I'm still getting that uh, that little bit of syrupy that syrupy flavor to it. I'm really think it's really comparing now to honey. As a matter of, well, I don't want to put any honey in there now because I have some orange blossom honey, but. I figure at this point, since I've already got the uh, the stevia in it, I don't want to over sweeten it. But I'm kind of curious to see how the uh, how the orange blossom honey reacts with the bonfire, especially since there's already orange in it. That should pull out the orange flavor even more. Uh, but without the stevia, I'll I'll, I'll I'll experiment later. I got my mad scientist thinking uh, thinking goggles on. But that's like the all-time ultimate flavor that I'm going for. It's something like really... I love orange even since I was a kid. Like, orange was my favorite color, my favorite fruit. Uh, I, I love those little orange sliced candies with the sugar uh, on the outside. That was my all-time... I will eat that till the day I die. Like, that will always be my uh, my favorite. Not lo no longer my favorite color. It's still top five. But, yeah. I, I've, I've grown up since then, just slightly. Oof. Oh, I'm getting stuffed. Oh. Okay, so, you guys have any other questions you want to talk about? Just I'm opening up the floor. Ooh, it's really starting to clear my sinuses too. I need to, uh, I need to drink some more of this, like on my day off, when I can just clear everything out, and I don't have to worry about uh, disturbing the people around me. I already disturbed them enough. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, if I were to have a meal, like a like regular food with this, this would be really hard to, to, to pair with dinner food, you know? 
I, I can't, nothing comes to mind right away. Although, I wonder how it would taste if I were to, um, to steep it in rice. If I were to make bonfire rice, that might be interesting. Because the Thai chai rice went really, really well. It had like the vanilla coconutty flavor to the rice, um, and it was a very strong flavor. The Lapsang Sao Chong mashed potatoes was excellent. Like I absolutely loved it because it had that smokiness to the to the to the potatoes that really brought out the flavor. I wonder how this would taste if I were to make make it with rice. I, I think that that's something that I would have to do really really soon. I have my my rice sitting there untouched for a couple of uh, a couple of weeks. I'm gonna need to to do something with it. And I think I just found my next uh, my next project. <coughs> oh. oh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this. Oh, I don't know if I can finish it off now. I'm gonna see. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, I have. <laughs> a little bit left, so my next drink is gonna is gonna end it all. I'm trying not to finish it off on one uh, in one fell swoop because that's just gonna just that's just gonna put me to sleep. Like for real, this is, it's a really satisfying tea. Uh, I have to admit, this is like right now. I just want to jump into bed. Uh, it's it's really it's it's really that good. Um, especially after a stressful day, this is, it's fragrant, it's, it's, it's a beautiful experience all around, like, I highly recommend this completely. Alright, last call. Ah, there we go. Anybody have any other questions, anything they want to talk about before I close up for the night? Oh, I got a little bit there. Ooh. I have a drinking problem. I can't get it all in my mouth. Yeah, that joke's getting old at this point. <coughs> then again, I need to learn how to, how to drink properly. I'm not exactly the most uh, dignified gent. Hey, Annie, welcome. You are, like, super late. I mentioned you before. This is a fall tea without the pumpkin, so you would absolutely love this. And I am wiping my mouth. This time I'm using a napkin. Well, not a napkin, but my, uh, my tea rag. Like, proper. There we go. It is a slight personal problem. And that's something that I need to uh, to work on. But once that problem is conquered, I promise I'll have more. Um, I'll have a more dignified stream. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, you guys have any other questions before I close out for the day? Cause I am like in heaven right now, and this is just like, whoo! I'm loving it. And it's 8:49. So we were we were at this almost to the to the hour mark. I like to uh, I like to keep my uh, my streams about an hour. Uh, sometimes I go over, sometimes not. But yeah, this time I think I'm going to be uh, closing out early because I am in the zone right now. I am feeling nice and and mellow. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close out tonight's uh, stream. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Uh, sneak preview, once again, for next week. Um, I'm going to pull it out real quick. Autumn Miss Green. I love this, this tea. It's a very unique flavor, and, you know, you guys, you guys will see it next week. It's out of this world. I have to, I have to admit, I cheated a little bit. I had uh, a sample of that. Uh, earlier this year, and I already know what it's going to taste like, but um, I, I still promise to give you a nice quality stream. I'll pretend. <coughs> yes, that one. 
I'll pretend that uh, I haven't tasted it so you guys will see it for the first time. Okay? Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it out. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Have a great night.